So the first thing to say is now is not the time to compromise. Now is not the time to play by the rules. Because we didn't write the rules, they did. And the rules tell us that if we don't have what we need, then it's our fault. I became an activist because I was really tired of being told that not having equal rights was my fault. The only thing you need to do, Sophie, to counter those centuries of legislative, societal, and cultural oppression is try harder. <laughs> if there's uh, one thing we've seen in the last 12 months, um, it is the power of women working together to make change from the uh, Me Too movement uh, to the noise around the pay gap, uh, to the fact that this is the centenary of the first group of women to get the vote. Um, this is a really, really good year um, for women to work together uh, and be heard. And I think that media is incredibly powerful. It's one of the most powerful tools we have. It shapes ideas. Um, it sets limitations or lifts the limits on what we can do with our lives. Um, and I think that through the work that the creative industry does, it can absolutely show us all a, ro a road ahead to equality. The idea that each one of you, as an individual woman, is responsible for the barriers to your equality is the biggest lie we are told. But there is another lie that we tell ourselves. And that is that someone's coming to the rescue. Nobody's coming to the rescue. Nobody's coming to the rescue. If the people in charge wanted to make space for us, they would have done it by now. So it's on us. How liberating! <laughs> we don't have to ask for permission. So now we can just get on and do it. We are way, way, way behind in terms of how women are actually living their lives and what women are capable of. Um, and what we see constantly depicted as wives, girlfriends, bad drivers. Uh, um, we are still objectified. There's far too much emphasis on our bodies rather than our brains. Um, I think um, that the, creative, the creatives that actually get onto this and understand that you know, women are the consumers um, and they want to be spoken to with respect um, and they want to see their lives um, reflected um, back at them in a way that, is, uh, that inspires them, that, that, that treats them with respect and says, look, we understand who you are, we can see what you're doing, where you're going. Um, that there's a whole beautiful relationship there that could happen and we're so, so, so far away from that right now. The Women's Equality Party made equality in the media one of our seven core objectives because achieving real equality for women requires cultural change. The power of the media has an impact on all of our other core objectives, equal education, shared parenting and care, equal pay, equal representation in business and politics, an end to violence against women, equality in healthcare. Positive and realistic representations of women's lives and experiences would make it easier and so much quicker to achieve all of these goals. So first of all, we keep telling women that it's up to them to fix the inequalities that they face. Uh, and we have to change that message. Um, uh, we need to be speaking to the CEOs of these companies, to uh, the majority male uh, boards, executive committees. Uh, you're going to lose your business. You're going to lose your business uh, because your pay gap reflects your lack of understanding of the barriers that women face. Uh, so you need to fix it, otherwise you're going to lose your clients. And if you lose your clients, uh, you're going to lose also access to that, uh, that big consumer base that we were talking about earlier. So um, think about your uh, parental leave policies, think about your part-time uh, full-time policies, think about your flexible working policies, what are your retention rates like before and after maternity leave, um, how are you uh, encouraging uh, men to think and act differently. Uh, there's far too much emphasis on giving uh, women mentors as though women need special help. Um, I think actually uh, we should be concentrating on giving mentors to men who don't get it. Um, for women working in those, in those uh, uh, companies, organise. Organise, uh, talk to each other, work together. The strength of your resistance is in your linked arms. Do not succumb to strong woman syndrome. And thus, we may hopefully sidestep imposter syndrome. The inadequacy that grips so many women. That
prompts us to wonder whether we can, in fact, be brave. This is the one question I get asked more than anything. No, that's not true. The one question I get asked more than anything else is what, what, what you want. <laughs> and I sort of say, I'm the leader of the Women's Equality Party. <laughs> what do you think? 